Maybe, you know what, I'm going to cancel this one. I know I'm not going to get full refund here, but let's just do that anyway. It's going to be okay. Um, Termix, thank you, Quill, for the snow. Got about four inches of snow today. Well, better you than us. We've got snow, and it's not going to go away for the next four or five months. I don't like shoveling either. But at least you're liking it. Bob, 790, thank you very much. Not billions, but you didn't get my tip on Wednesday. Unhappy face. Now go buy some whiskey. Well, thank you very much. I've got some. We'll be opening it later for our Dota portion. And Darhoff, more food from Hunters from Woods. Get some grass. Yes. Thank you very much. Bum, 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 bum. Leave grass for the farms. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's super handy. Oh, well, they're starting to reach some of our buildings over here. I mean, not much, but a little. Yeah, ballistas will be over there. Um, we're just waiting for the extra ranger, then I'll just... I mean, I guess could have set them up already. But you and you, I'm going to hotkey you guys to group number one. Excellent. And I'll tell you to go back onto chase duty over here. So they'll push. And these guys should be able to push a lot over here. And it looks to me like there might be a bit of a choke point over here for us to advance to. In fact, I'm going to go and get started and not build a Tesla tower because I don't have any people. I could build another tent. And I guess I will. Although we are going to want to research the, um, I think the townhouse upgrade next. I don't know, townhouse or farm, both of them are pretty good. Votes on Quill being overrun from the east, first wave, second, six chance to survive it. Yeah, the waves are really tough. Having the great ballistas will help a lot. And when we find out what side the wave is coming, we'll probably double up our walls. Oh yeah, so your units do a level up. So this is a veteran over here, just as improved attack values. Looks like an extra two damage and slightly higher attack speed. Well, that's pretty good. Excellent. More veterans over here. That's going to be handy. You can upgrade the houses, so build as many as you can. Well, that is true. We're capped again on things. This is not ideal. All right. We'll put down a little bit of that. Um, we need more energy. Oh, I got to wait for a worker to kick in. But let me go and build a Tesla tower here because I can. That looks pretty choke point. Let me grab one of these gotcha. rangers. Just confirm we can't walk through there. No, we can't. And I'm just going to confirm we can't walk through here, although I'm pretty sure the answer is that no, we cannot. Yeah, no, because we'd get line of sight and stuff. This is great. Now, I'm going to put you over here. Looks like these guys are going to maybe separate a little, but that's okay. It should be really easy to wall this off. That makes me very happy. Let's get another mill. I don't know if there's, like, sweet places to build the mills. Like, I don't know if there's, like, things we can boost with them later on, but we do need some more energy, so I'm just going to plop that down. Use a few resources. Uh, we are done our ballista research. I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, I guess we'll get, um, we'll get the farms next for more food, and then we'll upgrade. That is... Oh, shit! That one moved too far forward. Okay, first attack is going to be from the west. Now, the problem is... The west could mean here, which is effectively our north, or it could mean down here. We don't know where this first attack is going to come from. Well, let's build a great ballista over here. And let's uh, double up on our walls as well. That might not be entirely perfect there, but it's going to have to do. I'm really worried that the west is going to be over here, and we have no ability to wall this off in any sort of appreciable manner here. Like, this is kind of wide... I'm so mad we lost that ranger. Well, let's pump out another one anyway. Suppose I can just wall off across here. It doesn't feel very efficient, though. See? Ah, uh, there's the horde. I think it's moving up. I think it's moving up this way. No! I think it's going to move up through here, and I think we're just going to get completely boned. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh... Hang on, if I turn off uh, you, pause you, free up some workers. Yeah, there's the horde. Oh, we're we're done! What the f- um, Unload all units to over here. Unload all units. Yeah, no, now we get a new zombie out of that. Can I micro... You gotta move out of the way. Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay. Faster than my bow. You're gonna go here. Be You're gonna go back to patrolling this way. Um, I'm gonna grab two rangers and put them back. 
Oh man, that was scary as hell. I'm going to put a dude back over there. Defenses are being attacked is probably down over here because we actually have no one defending right now. But you will be able to shoot these guys in a second. Okay, you're going to be fine. Uh, we got to rebuild this so that we've actually got some attack or uh, power range out here. Uh, you're going to research cottages. We are going to build our first farm, which can get us 60 food. I might want to get... Even though it's only 56 here, I think I'm going to do this because I can put another one down right over there once we get some more resources. It's a little less efficient per person, but yeah, that's a lot of food from farms. Hordes attack where the defense is the weakest. And yes, I know you can pause. We've been pausing. Oh, I guess pause for like microing the units. That's true. I never think of that because I'm like, I'm sort of in a StarCrafty kind of mode. Um, the quarry is also paused right now because we are capped on stone. I should have paused it ages ago. The wood can still keep coming in, though. We're about to go over cap there as well. But um, And then, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to start upgrading all of our tents as soon as we can. Let's repair all. That's going to repair that wall. Good defenses there. Um, I will probably go and invest in a great ballista here as well. Right there. Push that out. And our power radius, yeah, we'll have to figure out where we can build more walls. Farm is complete, which is great. We're researching the cottages right now. We're good over here. Do we need a little bit more power range? We do, actually. If I do this, we can actually get power range to cover both of these micro little choke points, which is going to be awesome. Still have our soldier chilling down here. A few more dudes around, but we do have the ballista. Cottage research is done. So, upgrade to cottage. Uses a fair amount of power. As well as wood to do this. Uh, we've got enough power now. Let's upgrade a few more. So cottages fit more people in. So between like the farms and the cottages, we will increase our population quite quickly. Now, we'll be able to get some really good farming over there if we can get some power to the edge of the forest. Which is kind of a little annoying, but not the worst. Okay. Y'all are going to come over here. Because you can't build too close to enemies, so we're just going to have to clear out a little bit of space here. What? Okay. Faster than my bow. Right. And then once that happens, we can build up some actual defenses. Not, not, not a gate. I'm going to get a row of walls and build a tower behind it. Like that. And let me pause here. Oh, I don't have any wood. Never mind. You completed here, though. Let's get a sawmill. I'm wondering if I can fit a couple of half-decent ones. No, just one super one is the way to go. It's 18. I know it says like 20, 20, but you can't build it on there. It looks like 18 is going to be the best. But that's really good bang for our buck in terms of, of placement costs. What the... I did not realize you were so low that you're gonna get one-shotted. Also, these zombies are a lot faster. God damn it, we keep losing frickin' rangers. Okay, those things are way more dangerous than I'm giving them credit for. Repair. Health is good. Wall's about to come up. All right, you get on the wall. Attention. Building completed. I want to research the um, the market next. I think, although I think we need two hundred pop to start using it. What? Jesus. Another veteran, which is good. Woods coming in a little faster, which is nice. Population we need a little bit more of. Let me go and boost those guys before we build any more. These are much more dangerous zombies than the last ones. Let's get a little closer. There we go. Just try to bring them in a, one or two at a time. But I'd rather not stare at these guys. Like, I want to manage the rest of my base. Um, I guess keep going for pop. It is going to eat into my energy, but it's going to be good to do. Uh, bit of an attack over here. So what kind of these? Infected colonists, 50 hit points. I think we're going to be okay. Alright, you over here. Wall. 
Yeah, see, it's too close. We've got to push out here so that we can actually build a little bit. The rangers are very snarky. Okay, I think that's actually sealed there. So we'll put a tower behind it, and that should be okay. I'm going to put uh, another ranger up over here. Uh, we might go and add more down here, actually. One and two. We're going to cap out this little tower. Down here, we're doing okay. It's got the double wall and everything, which is nice. In before Quill discovers a harpy. I hear the harpy moves super freaking fast. And, you know, just generally sucks. I'm going to go and put a ranger down in this tower. Someone with a little extra range and vision, and that's going to be okay. All right. We will research the market. What else have we got going on here? Can I build another... Why would I do that, though? Just build when I can build a farm. Right? Just keep going with farms. Yeah. No, I've learned about the doubling and the tripling, and we will be doing some of that soon. What's up? Any infected around? Uh, I think what we're actually going to need here, because of the power thing... Ah, uh, no, we can build past it. The question is, are we going to be allowed? Because there's enemies too close over here. Are we ever going to be able to build here again? This town... Okay, towns are bad, yo. I suppose I can build walls on the inside a little bit more easily. Is that four? No, we can have one more ranger, right, which is coming here, which is good. Uh, ideally before they jump single walls, build more ballistas here. That's actually a, probably a good idea. Let's build a second ballista over here. Uh, we need a bunch of gold. We are getting a lot in, although we've got a lot of spare stuff. <sighs> I'm going to start by building the second farm here. Then we're running low on power, so... Oh, we need... Gold is our biggest bottleneck here, which is a little surprising. Yeah, we're going to have to build a second Great Ballista here next time we get a gold tick. Now, it doesn't look like we're being damaged now. So we're sort of holding... Now, every now and again, they come in and take a couple of whacks at the walls. And I don't think you can repair things that are, are too close to the baddies. Need a bank. How do you get a bank? Is it from the stone buildings? Oh, I can't build it because of the stupid mill! No! I mean, I could build it here or something, which I guess still sort of helps. Sort of. The other thing I can do is just get more rangers just behind the wall. Which is going to be okay. Yeah, just keep upgrading cottages so that we can get more taxes. Oh, that's true. We could get a soldier over here because the noise might not matter as much. Tell you what, why don't we go and grab the soldier from here and get him to just stand over there. Because here we're clearly okay. Meanwhile, over here, we're... Oh, um, I'm going to get you two on here and the veteran. I'm going to get you to come down here and help. I don't know if these guys will ever run out or if this, like, spawns zombies forever. I just said that it was under control over here, and then all of a sudden it's not. Ugh. Upgrade. Alright, well, more ballistas will still help. And yeah, if we keep recruiting sort of up here... That's going to be okay. We need some ballistas up here as well. 
But let's focus on upgrading our tents to cottages. Should I just build more tents? As opposed to upgrading? Because cottages are actually really expensive. Maybe I should just do that. Spawn until you destroy the, the dwellings of doom. Oh, god damn. Can you rotate the view? Oh, there's no energy there, so we have to build the second wall inside, which is not necessarily what I was going for, but I guess we'll do okay. Attention. We might just want to build a Tesla tower up front. We need more power. Alright, well, we're holding off here now, which is good. But yeah, we need more power. House of Doom actually have a limit to how much they spawn. However, there's a timer to it. Oh, so the, the timer, like, it ticks down. Like, they've got a cooldown or something like that. So it doesn't actually help us that much. Let's get some more power. That's been repaired. We can get more walls up here. So we got double walls. Hell, we can potentially triple wall up over here, but I, I'm going to get ballistas up there as well. Uh, we need a population of 200 before we can build the marketplace. Is it in here? Yeah. Attention. Need 200 colonists. So, I guess what I'll do when the power's up is I will just go and spam down some more tents and we can upgrade them. I'm still hoping to build a marketplace over here and hoping that we can cover a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, the first horde is always pretty small. It's just a question if it gets to one of your buildings, then you're boned. Attention. So I'm wondering here is if I should, can I double gate this and start, do I start sending people out here to go and blow up these buildings? How insane is that? Is that like totally sane is what you have to do? Or is it like completely nuts and like, what the hell are you thinking? Never, ever, ever do that. Let's do some upgrades over here. That should get us to 200 pop, which means we'll be able to put down our market. It's what you have to do. Need 20 rangers, you figure? Okay. Well, there's 200 pop. And we got another mayor. Um, I don't think we're going to build much soldiers, even though that is a hell of a discount. I think we're just going to take more gold income. And we are going to wait until we've got a little bit more wood, and then we'll build the market. So, that covers a lot of houses. Actually, I'll go this way, because we might build a row of houses on that side there. So, these houses will require less food. We will auto-sell extra stuff. I'm going to unpause the quarry now, so we start getting stone again. Because we're no longer full. Look north. What about north? I think we're gonna get a pair of ballistas here. Oh, you meant west, but it's over. Oh, was there one of the mini hordes? The ones, the ones that don't get announced? That might have been it. Set up some repairs. All right, so they're not they're not reliably getting to the walls anymore. They're taking a couple of cracks over here, but not much. Are these still single walls? It felt like I was double walling them. I think it's just because it's not diagonal anymore, so it looks a little bit weird. But we'll get we'll get a little bit of something something over here and see. Okay, market is done. So now if we get excess, we will auto sell it, which is good. We have the ability to buy iron, which is nice. 
Uh, I guess we'll research the stone workshop. I should probably get another, maybe, stone quarry once we get a little bit more resources over here. Uh, looks like actually what we need is probably a little bit more energy. Let's just can't fire over trees. Really? Well, okay, so they can fire down here. Huh. Or here. I mean, we can fire across the lake fairly decently. I think the ballistas will still have a purpose to serve. Oh yeah, they can't be too close together. Uh, that might be ideal or not. I don't know. Try to leave a 5x5 five five square in the same general area as the market for the bank. Pack tents in the rest of the area for gold bonus. Well, that might be a little tricky, but... We'll see. And I haven't actually gotten that far yet, so... So I am, like, overloaded on wood, but in theory it gets sold automatically here into gold, which is going to be good for us. So I th in theory, that's what it says. Buy and sell resources. Automatically sell excess resources. And you need less food, so we have tons of food extra. I suppose I may as well do that, although energy is still a bit of a hardship. Double by nine, nine will take more damage as if it had two sides. Can oh! Because they can be hit from more. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I do really want to get another ballista over here. I don't know if I'll be able to reinforce this tower, but it's going to be fine. Stone workshop building is now available. Uh, so I need 1,000 gold, 40 stone, and 15 spare workers. Now, I think what I would like to do is get another quarry over here. I think the most I can get out of it is four. And this, the most I can get out of it, is probably the three. Okay. So I'm going to pack more tents in within radius of the um, of that. Oh, dozens of infected are near the colony from the east. The east over here. Well, luckily, this is our most well-defended area. Unluckily, it's also the area that's most at risk, probably. So, do you think we lose on this one? I think we might lose on this one. We'll see about getting some more rangers out, though. And yeah, it's, it's kind of feeling to me like the units inside of this might not be getting any XP. Someone mentioned that earlier, and it's sort of kind of feeling that way. So I don't know. We'll try to load it with veterans, I suppose, as we get there. Blisters are fine for the second horde, but village may bring more. Okay. So we got that, we got that, we've got some power. We don't have tons of workers. More tent, more gold. And more workers, we can get down the uh, the stone quarry thing. Well, plus I'm spending my workers on rangers right now, which I think is kind of legit. Especially if we keep piling them out, we might be able to go and take out some of these buildings. So is the horde, like, maybe going to aggro all of the city people along the way? We need tents everywhere for pop and the bank for gold. All right, well, there's the horde. Be okay. Oh, there's more of them over here. It looks like we're fine. Oh, they may have come south of the city. Yeah. Okay, we seem to be okay. Um, so, let's repair. Stone Workshop does need more workers. More tents. Repairs are happening. Everything's good. 